Hey, Scott from MyGrowthRings.com. Here, here once again is in the home of my future shop, and this is going to be a shop short. In light of Nick Engler's excellent video on the uh, Workshop Companion channel on pocket screw joinery, as well as looking back about a year to the video that Tom did over at uh, Wood Shop Nerdery, I thought I'd show you real quickly how I do pocket screws with my shop smith. Yeah, in a way, I suppose you could say this is cheating, but I, I use a Craig jig. I, I actually have many generations of Craig jigs. But what I look for is a jig that allows me to drill the proper angle, which is 15 degrees, and have the clamp on the front side here so I can clamp my stock tight against this drilling surface. And uh, as straightforward as this is, I, I simply install my stock, clamp it in, and I drill to the depth. It's, it's just ridiculously simple. Let's do that again. And do you have to own a Craig jig? No, you can use anybody's jig, and all you have to do is adjust the tilt of your table to accommodate the angle of the drilling. Craig happens to use 15 degrees. I'm sure a few others use other angles. Now, do you have to have a drilling jig? Well, you don't have to. The one advantage that you have from these jigs is they support the drill bit and they support the stock right where the drill bit is entering. Gives you a nice, clean coal. Uh, Tom commented on Nick's video about that very thing, that, that Nick made a little sacrificial block that he uses. He didn't mention the video, but he showed it in the video. And the purpose of that is exactly what the Craig jig brings to the party. So uh, that's it. Make it a great week.